once the lollipops walked back to another part of Sea of Stars, in the last part, we crossed the Sea of Stars. And now we're in Sarai's um, world. She's from a different world. She was a cyborg. I didn't click that she was a cyborg. I just thought it was a mask. Don't ask, guys. Don't ask. It's locked, but it looks like the roof is accessible. Okay. Um, the roof is accessible. What? There we go. <laughs> I was like, where do I climb? Whee! Surely that heart's just shattering glass and going through it. Are these chests? These are chests, right? Okay. Sashimi. Found sashimi, guys. There was a chest in that other area. I just didn't open it because I was like, no, I'm not interacting with this area just now. Oh, this place is very different. Very different, guys. I unlocked the door. Yeah! Doesn't really make a difference, I'm continuing forward anyway, but I unlocked the door. Just turn everything on. We've got some really different music now. Is this a teleporter? Well, there's not really much of a chance of me getting there without uh, having to be found, is there? Even the little boxes are different. Listen to the music, they've changed it, how dare they? Ow. Got it that time. Just keep pressing, just keep pressing. There we go, got it. If you just keep pressing, you'll get it eventually, guys. I didn't get the timing right. Go for that. So I don't know how I feel about this, changing it to like a kind of futuristic kind of style stuff. I mean, it's all right. I'm just, I'm never really a fan of futuristic style stuff. I don't know why, it's just never been for me. But, um, we'll, we'll see. I prefer, prefer the other kind of atmosphere. There we go. Did it right that time. Combos. Can I kill them with Sinarang? <laughs> Do a really hard turn. There we go. Fantastic. Get the ladder to come down, I guess? No? Teleporter? Okay. So we can go back the way and teleport to that. Uh huh. Okay. So we're just gonna run back. There's a thing that'll let us put that out. Or a shortcut, I guess? Or our way back? No, oh, hold on, hold on. I saw a chest over here. How'd I get to it? No, no, hold on. Hold on, I wanna get to the chest though. Oh, there we go. Found a wire plate, armor. It's so different in this game. I haven't sold any of my equipment, whereas I sold all of my equipment in the the uh, catch-up slot. I mean, maybe I should just sell it all. It probably doesn't make a difference to keep it. If I'm out flying, can I be sure mesh battery required? Please use laser crane for safe handling. Uh, those were words, guys. Looks like a device would fit here. I'm looking for a device. There's mo another safe point on campfire? I mean... Can we make some sashimi? Maybe we can make some sashimi. They even have food slots open? Uh, yeah, I do. Sashimi? What does it do? I didn't even read what the sashimi gave me. 155 to an alley? I've already made parfaits before, haven't I? I think. Just in case I haven't made parfaits before, guys. Just in case. Just trying to keep up with my cooking. So where are we going?
What does this do? An ID card is required. Okay. <laughs> okay, game. Just continue on until I find where I'm going. Oh god. Do I just accept my fate? I think we just accept. Oh my god, am I gonna go? Okay. Oh, okay. Uh huh. There you go. Sorted. Ah, well. I accept it. The fact I got past one of them is surprising enough for me. Just hit this one. Let the other one attack, it's fine. Photon Salvo? Good enough. Smack it. Oh, it's blunt to. Uh, weak to blunt and dark, it said. Sorted. Once you know the weakness, it's a little bit easier, isn't it? Okay. The bridge has been turned on, and there's more funky lights to try to dodge, even though I don't really need to dodge them. I can just... I can just go into them. It's really not the end of the world if I end up hitting, is it? Eh... Uh, why not? Why not, guys? Let's minerang the Venom Flurry. May as well. We got it. It's like a horse! It's a horse! The horse neighed at me, guys. It neighed at me. It said, nay, bother. Oh wow, I didn't expect that to just kill everyone. A barrier printer missing components. Blueprint. What is that? Found crane operator ID card. Okay. I got the crane operator cards. That is something. crane. What am I doing? What am I operating the crane for? Wait, what does it do? What does it do? Oh, I can lift things? Okay, sure. I got rainbow conch, right? Okay, so it lights up green if I can lift something. I can just lift the teleport, don't mind me. Didn't realize that. Understood. I'll just teleport around. Uh, we'll go to the right first. That's funky. Turn the light on. I don't know what anything's doing. I'm just going for it, guys. I don't know why I'm still trying to sneak around the side of things. I did it once by accident, and I'm like, yeah, I can do this, and I can't. Guys, I can't do it. Hex shield? Ugh. Oh, you would do that, wouldn't you? Why are the hell's blue now? Like, is this a different world? Decide to make it blue? I mean, sure. I don't think I need to hit him. Like, I could just dash strike him in. 
and I'll kill it. Ow. Didn't even. No, no, nowhere near. Nowhere near it, guys. Um. You wanna hit that one? Perfect. And then just keep hitting it. And it's dead. But it's not dead yet. Oh no! That's oh, fine. I got really dramatic there. Why does it still say 73? It's the shield, right? The shield's stopping me from damaging it? That's why the other thing didn't take damage, because the shield- I didn't know if the shield stopped it completely. It evidently does stop it completely, guys. I got my level up, though. Health and mana? Do I even need to still do health and mana? Maybe I don't. Maybe I can just do physical attack now. Let's just up our physical attack if we can. Come on, everyone gets a bit of physical attack. Everybody gets a bell of physical. Yeah, there you go. Everyone gets more physical attack. Let's just normal hit them to death. Got an onion. I got the ore. So now to go move the crane and make it go to the other side of the room, I assume? Over here, crane, and lay up green. Yep. Which I need to then go all the way over here with. What's that sound? Two different ways to go. I was gonna say, just fight me. It's not worth trying to avoid six of them. No chance. Um, I don't have something that does that amount of dark damage, so. Did they get rid of one? Of course I got rid of the one that attacked, didn't I? No, power tackle me. You coward. damage that I can't do because I don't have a blunt damage dealer anymore. Like I could do that. I suppose, oh no I couldn't have, I was gonna say I suppose if, if I had one extra shot I could have then one damage with the combo strike but you are just heal we're running low, do you want to just get us healed? I haven't really been focusing on the healing so much. I feel like it's always Valir they're going for. Are you serious? Or you still actually got... There you go. And then... No, no, not you. Combo strike it. The only way to hit you with enough blunt damage. Seems like so much for a level up. Power unit dispenser online. Please insert wire plate sheet. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Um. Well, what am I doing? Hello? Oh my god. Stop. Stop pressing the R2 button. Uh. Uh. Hello? There's nothing to do here, right? Like, I can't jump up. I can 
remove these. Moving them helps. Fireplace sheet. Okay, well, I didn't try to move them. That'll be the issue. Got daggers. Don't know why I didn't think to move them the first time. I was like, can I not jump up on them? Oh, I can jump up on them. Uh, there. Processing complete. Please retrieve the completed power unit. Okay. Now back to the very beginning. Yeah! I made stuff. Did I come in here before? No, I did not come in here before. I needed to for the blueprint desk. No, oh, it's so close. So close. We get so far. Go on, just hex shield each other. Do it. Just do it. Oh. So is it a certain amount of damage they need to take, or just every part of damage hurts up? That is the question, isn't it? One of them's nearly dead. Power attack? Oh, that destroys one of them. Good, it destroyed the one that had the weaker shield. Perfect. Can they hex shield themselves? I haven't seen them hex shield themselves, I don't think. I think they always hex shield someone else. Oh, there's one more. So I got the blueprints and... Yeah? Got everything? Do I need the blueprint? Looks like a device would fit in here. Yeah, the, the, the battery, right? Elevator offline, battery required. Please use laser crane for safe handling. Can I put the battery somewhere and then insert it in here? No? Do I need to go back through somewhere? I just went to the left, didn't I? I don't want to go to the left, I want to go up the way. Because there was something I needed to do that was up the way, right? Perhaps? Where was the thing that I think there was a thing here? That good enough, yeah? That seems to be good enough. I was worried in case he needed five things though. Barry completed same thing to elevator room. Please use laser crane for safe handling. Understood. Ah, I was wondering why there was a wee slot there. I thought maybe I was missing a chest, but it's just the barrier that needs to go there. Grab the barrier and be on with it. Perfect. Ah, yes, the noise of success. Hell, they are online. Oh, wait, there's like a heal. Just in case I need to heal here, guys. No reason not to, just in case there's more fights to come. May as well we get a wee rest. Elevator's online. Nope. We are indeed done. What's all the way over this way? I mean, that's the village over there. It's really an expanse. Well, I'm going to go to the, uh, the fishing place, of course. 
Let's not be silly, guys. Of course we're going to go to the fishing place first. Oh, all new fish. Come to me, fishies. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I couldn't even see the line there. It's a different colour. There we go. Got one. I got coil flounder. Come on. Come on. All the way down you go. No hassle yet. There we go. I got the cybernate hermit. Well, even the fish have been turned to... Try to tell me even the fish have been turned to cyborgs. Okay. What use does that serve anyone? Oh, that was different. I thought that was going to be the same one. It's not. I want a thin one. There. Come on. You can go all the way over there if you want, fish. Oh, I, I should have pressed X. None of them had jumped out of the water yet, so I just wasn't expecting it to. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Up, 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 up. Up, 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 Uh, I think I got all of them. Right? Yeah, cool. That was easy enough done. Uh, any chests? Up at the top here somewhere? Over there? Over there? How do I go over there? How do I go there? I don't know. There's a chest there. I want it. I see it. I'd like to go over there and get the chest, please. Why do I keep going slower at some points? Oh, there we go. Hello? I want the chest. Why won't game give me chest? I want to jump in the fish pond and swim over to the chest, please. Why does it keep doing that? Why does the game keep going slower at some point like that? I'm not clicking anything, so it shouldn't be me doing it. Anyway, let's set up camp, if it lets me. Um, good, it does. Talk to Deeks, because I think she has more information for us, but I'm not 100% sure. Plus, we haven't spoke to people at the fire for a while. Found a new artifact, let's see here. New story, cook are they unyielding. Is that all? Yeah, I want to hear a story. Oh yeah, I've already read the Nomads of the Sea. Okay, story time. Of the many events from the time of the Ovates, many consider the foundation of the Kingdom of the Clouds to be the most significant. It was back in the early days when the world was still being shaped. Once they had completed the islands, they started working on the travel golems. The Ovates first built Yeet and Zoto rejoiced at the ease with which they could activate them using power words. But for Mess Island, something more was needed. A sentient golem. One that would not simply obey commands, but carry purpose. The reason was that the specific island was at sea level, but as the Ovates had seen in the dreams, it needed to be pro uh, propped up way higher. Indeed, in the future there would be a great flood, and for this world to survive, Mess Island would have to remain above water. Although that future was a very distant one, the Ovates remained as selfless as ever in their dedication to harmony and balance. Thus they built Kukar, but alas found themselves unable to give it sentience. Ever embracing the flow of things, the Ovates held firm to the belief that their part as saving Mess Island had been played. They moved on to completing the vision that they had seen in a shared dream, and from the essence of the very clouds conjured the Sky Giants. There would come a time where the Ovates would go extinct, and it would fall to the Sky Giants to keep watch. They would be tasked with establishing a council in the clouds to oversee three very important things. First of which was to keep over the elements. While the flood was unavoidable, maintaining balance would remain a challenge unless new ovates arose. Secondly, they would be the gatekeepers of the sea of stars, carefully vetting those who would seek to travel between worlds. Lastly, there was the matter of Kukar. It remained incomplete, as though they would need to be on the lookout for a wield of magic potent enough to make the construct sentient. In the end, it was a great eagle who helped them in this. Nowadays, few are aware of Kukar's purpose, most believing it to be nothing more than an impressive feat of uh, masonry. And even from a prophetic standpoint, there is no real way to know whether it will withstand the coming flood. But until then, Kukar's uh, role would remain a passive one. Holding on with ev an ever firm grip, it would stand tall, inspiring mortals as a testament to sto stoicism and true dedication. One need only lay eyes upon the construct once to understand where it is going, got its title of Kukar the Unyielding. The end. Okay, thank you for that interesting conversation, Rashad. 
Thank you for your help. I'm eager to visit my home and show you what we're up against. What happened to Sarai is terrible. And uh, yeah, that'll be us guys. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to poke that like button, subscribe, and comment your comments because they are comments. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.